What's up guys, I'm Big Cumming and welcome to Town Hall 10 Miners Best of the Rising League. So today I'm, I'm going to be showing you three Town Hall 10 Miner attacks and kind of talking you through how these attackers put it together and sort of the tendencies and the things you need to look out for when you are attacking with this strategy. So out of all, I, there were actually five hits that I have recorded in the first three weeks of CWL. And out of all five hits, each one of them had a queen walk component. So keep that in mind. You might want to be looking at some form of a queen walk to help push this particular strategy along because it appears to be working very well in high level play. So let's go ahead and talk about the attack that we have at hand. Obviously down one side, just as we said, a queen walk is occurring. Now why this is such a valuable spot to queen walk is because as you can see, there are four wizard towers stacked all together in addition to several archer towers. So he is going to be bringing this in, just walking all the way down. He's already used three rage spells on this queen. He's going to deal with that CC. And that is also usually one of the more important things to do. If you know for a fact, that there's something like a golem in the clan castle, you must, must, must handle that before you send your miners in. A CC golem is a hard counter for miners, so keep that in mind. The queen is gonna pop the special ability right as the wall opens. The king has helped sort of funnel queen here and push her in. She's actually gonna take out all of these defenses left inside of this compartment. Meanwhile, he started his miners up after establishing some really nice clean funneling with just cheap troops, minions, guys. And look what he's got left. He doesn't have a free spell, but it's okay. He's gonna encounter that Inferno Tower and then see the queen. He's gonna poison queen out. All the miners will snap to the queen eventually. Meanwhile, the other pack of miners is attacking the king. And at this point, there's really not much of a threat left in this base. He's got two bomb towers that he's gonna have to deal with, but that's what the heal spells are for. They're gonna go over. Some will take out the bomb tower, not all of them, but now look what's left. The queen has died, but guys, there's just too many miners up. They're too full health. For this base to stand up so one thing that I, that I did not mention at the very beginning is that um, you want to establish some kind of funnel for your miners and as you as you could have seen he dropped a bunch of minions and archers and things all around the base basically to ensure that when he let those miners go they were going to go straight into the base straight at those vulnerable defenses and this ended up working out beautifully up <laughs> look at that spring trap so anyways um yeah good uh good job to maddie of chaos hammer I loved that hit. Next up, we are gonna have Mike of Elite of Valor. And once again, he's bringing a Queen Walk Miner. But um, let's see how he, he does it this time. So he's gonna start off with a Baby Dragon, some minions up top to basically set a nice funnel, clear some trash, and the Queen with her healers over at three o'clock. Oops, should have silenced that. Apologize, folks. And um, we're just gonna sort of let this develop. Uh, here goes the, the, the Queen. Now watch what he does. He's gonna get a little bit closer, slowly, slowly, slowly take out this town hall. And as you can see, the king and the queen are right there for our queen to feast on. So he's gonna shortly drop a poison and then a rage and basically just run in there, kill the king, kill the queen, and the CC will come out at the same time. So here's the rage. He drops it to lead the queen forward into that air defense. He realizes that it's probably taking a little while at this point. You know, as you can see on the clock, there's only a minute and 42 seconds left. So once this attack gets rolling, it definitely just wraps up quick because you're cleaning up as you're attacking. So anyways, here goes the double poison. The queen and the king have died. The golem is actually being beat up and the loon will die before it actually reaches the queen. So really nice there. Bay dragon dropped, actually dodges the cannon, which I thought was very in, uh, pretty interesting when I was watching this. But the baby dragon will tank for those wall breakers. That archer tower was distracted long enough to be able to push this queen in. So this is looking really pretty so far. And her job actually with this charge is going to be to take one of the Inferno Towers. So this is 100% ideal. Um, similar to the way hog raids work at Town Hall 10, you want to go for an Inferno Tower if at all possible, because it just takes one of those massive sort of unknown giant bomb spots out of the equation. Um, so anyways, here it goes, the Rage Spell down to help the Miners sweep through this that other Inferno Tower, and it's looking really pretty, guys. Both Inferno Towers down. He's got only one Heal Spell left, but look, they're all going to congregate inside of that Heal Spell, and the Queen is still alive. So this is a really high-value Queen Walk. The Queen lives the whole time, does her job very well, and it will end up being a 3-star. So good job to Mike. I loved this attack. Um, 
So yeah, guys, and for this hit, this actually was a little bit different than the, than the last one. The last one had an entry uh, that involved the king. So the king actually broke a funnel for the queen to then charge in and clear one extra compartment. However, on this hit, you would have noticed that the king was actually used at the top side of, of the base, basically to walk all the way down and clear all of the trash buildings so that when the miners entered, they would be staying inside the base, attacking the uh, important defenses. So really nice job there, loved that one. Now for the final uh, minor raid of this video, it's gonna be Angelo of Coastal Clash. So with this one, once again, he has a queen walk component. He's gonna drop a giant to get in front. He's gonna bounce bowler balls or bowling balls or boulders, ugh, bowlers off of two different gold mines to take out that archer tower. That was a really interesting, um, it was a really interesting touch there, getting two different angles on that. But anyways, he's established his funnel for his queen just that way and he's gonna wait as long as possible before he puts these healers out. He probably needs to do it soon. There they are. Got a little bit better of an angle with those healers or I think he was fishing for it. And now the queen is gonna go in. Now look, he's gonna put the first rage spell here. He's gonna take out a wizard tower, a archer tower. He's gonna now break in and look at the wall breaker action here. He's gonna open, gosh, that is a huge hole in, in these walls. The poison spell received the king and the queen and the CC has come out. He's gonna have to drop that second poison to help handle that loon and that golem as they approach. Very nice job there. Meanwhile, this bowler is still throwing rocks. He's still doing some cleaning action, but the base, basically the base has now opened up for these miners to come in. He's doing a little bit more funneling with some bowlers down at around six o'clock, but there's the king. Just like the last hit, the king is being used to clear trash buildings on the outside of the base to drive the miners into the juicy defenses. So here we, here he goes. The queen has decided not to go for the Inferno Tower. She is gonna start, uh, she's gonna sort of wrap around and go towards the top, but up top there's still some high, some high value defenses. He's got two archer towers an expo and another wizard tower to take. So he's gonna rage the queen there. He realizes this queen is actually really important on this hit and he's gonna heal right there. Nice fat heal on those miners right in the core. They hit a bomb at the same time, but the queen is still doing work. This value queen, man, the queens on, on these attacks have just been amazing. So anyways, here come the miners. They are rushing forward. They're gonna come up. They're gonna get this, um, this Tesla right here, they're gonna hit a bomb, but it's gonna be all right. One of the bombs inside of the Inferno Tower compartment was triggered by itself before the main pack came in. So they're gonna actually end up taking that Inferno Tower. Meanwhile, the queen has survived. Just a few miners are living at this point, but the queen with the ability will be enough to clean up these last two point defenses. Really nice job to Angelo of Coastal Clash. So guys, um, just remember, when you're attacking like this, the queen walk opponent, it seems to be working. It's working for the guys in, in Rising League of all five hits, all of them involved a queen walk. So um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna be definitely be giving this, this uh, strategy a try using a queen walk to clean things up, but I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope that you are able to implement these strategies into your own stuff. Take care, see you later.